Hi, I'm Dr. Sharm. Welcome to Technorazzi. Continuing our series inspired by you, our viewers, we're going to touch on visioning systems. We've returned to CPM Labs in Rancho Cordova, California, where Craig Howe will give us the basics on visioning systems. Okay, Craig, last week uh, you demonstrated for us a uh, Sterrett optical comparator, and this week uh, looks like you're, we're looking at, what, it's a smaller, younger cousin? This is a visioning system. It's put together by JH Technologies in San Jose. It comprises of a stage made by Semprex, lens made by Navitar, got a little CCD camera by Hitachi, a QuadraCheck display, and a, a screen to look at the results. So one of the main differences is on the optical comparator that was more of a projection technique of projecting a, a profile up onto a screen. This actually uses a video, a video camera and a monitor. This uses a video camera. This has superior front lighting capabilities. You can see the detail much clearer on this than you could in an optical comparator. You still have the same measurement techniques, but now you can zoom. This has a zoom lens where much, much of the optical comparators are fixed focal length. And you can do much of the same, much of the same functions? Yes. So they'll do circle, distance, angle. You can use skew. Okay. Well, give us an example of uh, how you use this machine. Okay. I have this set up on a dime, and we're focused on the president's nose at this point. I was going to suggest we take a, a reading of the radius of his nose. All right. Let's do it. We're going to zoom quite a ways in so we can really get a good idea of the curvature. There's some crosshairs on the screen, so I'll tell it we're taking a, a circle. We'll take a point, another point. Now this doesn't have any kind of automatic edge detection like the optical comparator did. This one does not. They do make them with optical edge detection, but this, this system does not. So here we showed the diameter would be 41 and a half thousandths, so the radius of, of the president's nose is 20 thousandths and about 7 tenths. Pointy nose. Pointy nose. Yep, I have a little circuit here, which this will be good for... Uh, see, what you're changing the lighting? Changing the lighting it seems to work a little better for this part. Sometimes they'll, they'll have call-outs of the spacing between the leaves. So in this case, I'm just going to... Actually, what I'll do is I'll do a, a point. And if I tell the point, and I take two entries, one on one side, and one on the other side is going to give us halfway in the middle. So that's our first point. Now I'll move down to this leg and do the same thing. Take a point, enter, go to the second leg, a second side of it, enter, finish. So now I have two points showing on the screen. I tell it I want to do a distance and I select those two points and it tells me the distance between them is 05145, 51 thousandths, four tenths, 50 millionths. So that was interesting, I've never seen that before. So you're saying it, the first thing you did was you, you took two points on either side of this lead so that it could identify where the center was? It did. I, what I did is I made a point, okay. but I made the point from two different features. Gotcha, okay. And then you did the same thing down here, and then it gave you the distance from in between this lead, I mean, sorry, from the center of this lead to the center of this lead. Each point was the center of one okay, lead. Gotcha. Then I told it, take a distance between the two. Now, what's the accuracy and resolution of this particular type of? That's dependent on the quadra check and the readers. In this case, again, this one resolves to 50 millionths of an inch. Okay. These have a little different specification. It's one of those where you, it's usually designated in metric. It'll be plus or minus two or three microns, and then so much for each inch of movement. Oh, gotcha, right. One of those formulas I love. You can use it on larger parts also. It looks like to me that pretty much the main difference, aside from the video aspect of it, the main difference between this system and the, the Sterrett uh, optical comparator is this, this is really set up really to do much, much smaller parts. You're right, it's for smaller parts, it's also much more modular. Uh, we have some shot, different lighting, we have some, some lighting from the edge, we have some coming down, down through the center of the lens, you can have lighting from below, it's much more modular. A lot of these components would fit on the comparator, but this is more versatile, you can set it up to do a certain type of measurement and quickly change over, just even in lighting 
to do a whole different type of measurement. Here we can use the skew function again. As, as you can see on the screen, my edge of my part is not perfectly in alignment. Right. There's a little bit of difference. So to do skew, again, we would touch one edge, go skew and take a point, move to the opposite edge, move over till we're just, I'm, I'm touching with the edge of the crosshairs, you might yes. notice. I'm not going to the center, I go to the edge. We're now skewed, so now any point we took in between, in the middle, will give us an accurate readout of where we're at. Okay. That wouldn't happen if you didn't have skew. You would have to guess where, where you would be. Okay. Let's do angle, the angle of, of this feature. We'll start out with the straight leg. We'll do angle, take two points on one leg of it. Now we'll take two points on the other leg of it. And it comes up the angle of 132 degrees. 132.054, or you can change it to read degrees, minutes, and seconds. So again, that's the, that's the angle between this, this edge and this edge. Yes, it is. The angle between the two, this direction. Right, gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you for showing us this piece of equipment today, Craig. You're welcome.